Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitch and Embroidery and Design. I am going to show you today how to open zip files using Sew Up Pro. I've already got the Sew Up Pro screen up here on my computer. And if I go to File and Open and find a folder that's got a zipped embroidery design in it, here's one here. These are my free buttonholes from Five Star Fonts, and they're very nice. If I left click one time, you'll see what happens here. It brings up the screen. This is all the um, compressed or zipped files within the document. And you can see there's several. I'm scooting this over so you can see the extensions. There's several different file types here. And you can either choose to open them all or you can open one at a time. If you click on just one and do open, opens it up. It's that simple. If we want to uh, decompress or unzip the entire folder, we can go back to file. Let's just open a new document too. We click this little paper here, creates a new file. See we've got a blank screen again. Go to file and open. And it remembers the last directory we were in, so what Pro does. So all we do is go back here, click again one time on our buttonholes, and this time I want to unzip the entire folder. So instead of using open like I did last time, I can unzip. And it'll bring up the screen where you can either select like one file to unzip or you can unzip the entire folder. So highlight one and you can hold down the control key and press each one that you want. And you can click on this line here to make this wider. Usually they're not this wide because these are long file names. And you can see for instance if um, this is the only file format you want, the DST or the HUS. Uh, we left clicked once on HUS and then you hold down the control key and we can select the next HUS and continue holding the control key while we're doing this with our left mouse button. Left click again, left click again, and get to the idea. And then when we scroll back up, we'll see they're still selected because we're still holding the control key. Now we hit OK. Close the button. And see they're all extracted now. Four files extracted to folder. And it created a folder on my computer for the five star fonts on my SkyDrive. Hit OK. Now if we want to unzip the entire folder, we can do this again. Select unzip. And we can uh, left click once. And you can also shift click too to hold these down. You can either use the control key or the shift button. I like the shift button myself. Just hold down the shift button with your finger. And then you can release the shift button after you got everything selected. Hit OK. And not every one of the files was extracted. And after you extract them, if you want to, you can delete the zip. I don't delete my zip. I actually copy and save it to my uh, Dropbox, or else I also save it on my external drive as well. So I've got two backups for it. I like the Dropbox though because it's off-site storage, and you know, God forbid something happened to the house or someone uh, steal my computer, then I've still got my files on my Dropbox. And if you uh, select this button. This will let you close the entire file easily. It goes, takes you back one step to where you started. There we go. And as you can see, now we've got a new folder that was created automatically, and it's called Five Star Font Buttonholes. And if you want to be nice and organized, you can take this zip file. Oops. I le hold your left mouse button on it one time, not open it like I just did, not click it. And then you can drag it back to that folder and put it in there. Now I'm going to click this folder. There's all of our buttonholes that were decompressed. And there's our zip file in there as well. And that's all there is to it. And you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my videos. I have other ones as well. You can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.